mentioned a little bit before we left about power and amazing displays of power. And as it happens, again, one of baseball's all-time greatest power hitters is making his way to San Francisco Giants camp this spring training. And it's a bit after a, a little bit of a long absence. And, of course, I'm speaking about Barry Bonds. That's right. And, you know, they're, and they're getting the – this guy is the best of all time, aside from all the other stuff. I mean, when you really look at it and talk to people that have been around him, this guy was – in a in a in a league all you know basically basically to himself uh and now um i from what i understand you know he has been out in the community working with younger people and uh you know he's gonna (laughs) it's gonna be a mixed bag uh, what we're gonna hear you know he's because you know as a player and some of the stuff that you know became public you know he's not there have been times where he's not been a real uh, politically correct, correct or whatever. Been there's yeah. you know, there's been some some incidences surrounding his personality uh, and so forth. And uh, you know, there's that label also of uh, you know the the superstar and the Hall of Famer somehow seems to have trouble teaching for whatever reason. There's a lot of different reasons out there, and uh, we'll see how you know Barry's been able to maybe maybe learn some things. You know, there are guys that have a, a knack for teaching and there are guys that actually study it and want to do it and try it and they get better, you know. It, yeah. Sometimes when you come out of the shoot, you know, maybe uh, you do certain things, you say certain certain things, you have some uh, even mannerisms that are make other people uncomfortable out on the uh, out on the field as coaches. And so there's some adjusting that uh, kind of goes along with that. And, uh, you know, first, you know, the first thing is, well, he won't be able to do this. You know, he's a, he's, he's not, uh, approachable and whatnot. I think you'll probably see a, a whole new side of Barry Bonds, you know, come yeah. out as a coach, hopefully, you know, yeah. maybe, you know, and he's studied it and, uh, he's not a dumb guy. Yeah, he's a, he's an intelligent guy. So Very much so. He'll he'll try to figure out, you know, what he's good at on the field and what he you know he's going to like to do, and, and then he's going to have to mix that with being being kind of careful, not stepping on the toes of the guy that actually is the hitting coach, and there's a hitting coordinator, and there are hitting coaches, and and this and that, and you know, Will Clark's going to be in there. You know, he's a little help uh, helps around the cage, and yeah. So you kind of come in there and, uh, you know, for the most part, you you don't say too much, just kind of watch, kind of get to know the players a little bit before you start jumping in there and whatnot. And so it'll be very interesting. I think it'll be good for the, uh, for the giants and the giants fans. Uh, and it should be good for Barry to get back into the game. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, and some of the players like, Tim Lincecum, Buster Posey, those have been a couple of guys that have openly they said have. that they're looking forward to him they're coming in. Outspoken into... about the yeah. fact that, you know, let's go, you know. But again, you know, the Giants uh, front office people, they have to kind of uh, tippy-toe around, like I said, some of these sensitive areas that you can't just throw a guy in uniform and put him out there and think that, you know, things are going to happen just right. It's like, you know, uh, and so they've taken a look at it and now – uh, Barry's going to be in spring training. So uh, yeah. I'm sure people will be glad to see him and uh, see what kind of a new ambassador he becomes of the game. Well, and in the bigger picture, it really is a bigger step because he's really one of the first ball players that was in a little bit of that controversial era that's being openly welcomed back to the team that he was a part of. I mean, we've seen, for instance, Roger Clemens recently got inducted into the Red Sox Hall of Fame and things like that. But again, the Giants were the team that Barry was on when the controversy happened, for lack of a better term, and they're showing that they're willing to open the doors to let him back into it. And I think that speaks <laughs> volumes for where this could all be heading someday. You know, well, it's it, going to come back into the picture, I can guarantee you. And he's going to have to be able to deal with the questions again and this and that. And hopefully he doesn't, you know, uh, hopefully he can manage the media at, at, at this point in time, you know, being a, a sort of a coach now and whatnot. And see, yeah. see if he can uh, somehow get the, the, the media and the fans to kind of put that behind him. And if he can – it's by things you say and things you do. Yeah, out on the field that can lead people away from that, and so yeah, see how he does, how he manages that. 